So money is nearer than I can imagine. Why have I been wallowing in penury? Temple of Trapmas. Okay. Oh boy. You cannot die because things went bad. So I had you in when I was coming. <laughs> yes. Oh. Just eat and be happy, okay? My brother, man, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. I need to read this article on page 17. The money we seek is nearer than we, we can imagine. Page 17. Three days. You are going to go and pray in a particular camp for three days. Yep. I have never ever heard you mention church. So tell me, what's the name of this camp you're going to pray? Oh, darling. Doesn't it, you know, touch you? Doesn't it bother you that despite all we have, doesn't it touch you, my love, that we do not go to church? Oh yes, it does. That is the reason why I want to know the name of the church you're going to and the address of the church. Besides, I want to go with you. Uh, no, 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 you cannot go with me. You see, it's always been my style to pray alone, all right? Um, it's my problem, you know, I'll deal with it, okay? I'll just go before the Lord and pray, all right? Is there something you're not telling me? Darling, everything you need to know I've told you. If there's anything I've not told you, then we'll deal with it some other time, okay? What are you doing? Tomorrow. To be back when? Monday, three days. I just pray that everything goes well and the Lord listens to my prayers and I come home happy. Okay? I love you, baby. Duncan, we are brought up in the Church of God. We are bishop would pray for people who want breakthrough in their businesses. Some of them will experience the breakthrough and their businesses will start flourishing. I don't buy this idea that money doesn't belong to God. No, no. Oh my God. Frank, open your eyes, man. Money is a worldly thing. It's never a heavenly thing. God did not create money. It was created by evil men inspired by the devil. And the main aim was to use money to manipulate the world and keep everybody at a spot. Are you listening to yourself? Have you forgotten that the Bible said that God created all things? Okay, fine. You go back to the book of Genesis and read that same page. You see, God created everything in six days, right? And he rested on the seventh day. Where on that page did he say or mention money? Have you forgotten that the Bible made reference to money in so many places? See, Frank, those writers that referred, made reference to money in the Bible did that because money was already doing its job of manipulation. I'm surprised you're even thinking this way, man. Money belongs to this world. It's a worldly thing. That's why you see bad people are richer than the good people. You see, if we must break loose from this penury, I think it's about time we'll begin to think like millionaires. That's the spirit. So, what exactly do you want us to do? The place is called the Temple of Drachmas. Huh? They believe the power to make money is on the inside of you. You know, so I don't think there's anything wrong. You know, we hear them out, listen to their preachings, their sermon, their seminars. Maybe that's the way God wants to bless us, man. Go for be back. You want me to go to an evil temple? Of course you know I will not do that. Oh, break loose, Frank. We are men living in an evil world. You know, who's, who knows? What if that's what God has destined for us?
Are you okay? You are one of the problems I'm faced with in my life. Okay, that was harsh. What have I done to deserve such? You are bringing the anger of God upon my life. And that is why nothing is working for me. <laughs> Jones, bringing the anger of God... <laughs> How? I mean, in what ways? How can you even say that? What is up with you? All of a sudden, you're being so uncharitable with the words you used to address me. What's up? Do you know the name of sin we commit every other night? It is called fornication. Sexual immorality between unmarried persons. And fornicators are sinners. And God does not answer sinners' prayers. In other places, it's an abomination to God. So if you agree with me, why are you kneeling down and praying every night while we are wallowing in sin and fornication? Don't. Are you saying that because I'm dating you, I should not pray? No, no. Because that would just no. be ridiculous. That's not. You are going contrary from what I'm saying. Look, I was raised in a church and one of the best men of God. I'm even angry with myself for my inability to live an undefined life of Christ. Okay, fair enough. If you feel bad about your lifestyle, then change! You are not going to compound your problem with my problem by dealing down every other night here. We have to stop making mockery of God. <sighs> the only reason why I always kneel down to pray is because I feel so much guilt inside me. I need God to forgive me on a daily basis. That is not the standard. The first thing you need to do is to repent. Then the second thing is you ask forgiveness for all those your sins. Who is that? It's Frank. Come outside, we need to talk. Why is he here by this ungodly hour of the night? It's late. He's my friend, that's why and he's here. it's late! He's my friend, that's why he's here. And the next thing you should be very mindful is how to poke in how I relate to my friends. You hear me? Frank, when will you stop to grow the night? There is a temple in this town. It is called the Temple of Drachmas. Duncan and us will be dressing the temple tomorrow morning. So I'll be coming to pick you by 8 o'clock. Temple in this town? I've never heard of one before. That is why I said we'll be dressing the temple. Don't you get it? See, wait for me by 8 o'clock. I'll be coming to pick you up, okay? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you really think you're going to leave me without explaining this whole temple thing to me? Look, we grew up in the same church of God. We attended Sunday school together. Look, listen to me, man. Why in this world you want us to go to some strange temple? We have come to realize that money is nearer than we ever imagined. See, success we've come to know is reserved for only those who are ready to take the risk. We are now ready to take our destinies in our own hands. Okay? Are you sure we're not heading for trouble? Isn't it better to face trouble and make money than avoid trouble and wallow in poverty? See, we have discovered the path to riches. And that is what we are tracing tomorrow morning. So you get ready and wait for me. I will come and pick you up by 8 o'clock. Get ready and wait for me. Thanks. Jesus, because you said in your word that the prayer of the sinner is an abomination unto you. But Lord, you also said in your word that though our sins be as red as scarlet, you wash us to be whiter than snow. Therefore, Jehovah Lord, I come before your throne of grace that I may obtain mercy and ask you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to wash hey, me hey, to hey, be whiter hey, than hey, hey, snow. Hey, hey. Listen to me. If you leave this house tomorrow morning, don't you ever come back. You hear me? Because you are insulting what? God with this, your prayer, and I will not allow that to happen in this house. You hear me? What? Jones, you, you can't tell, you can't tell I should leave the house because I'm praying. I'm done. When you leave the house, don't come back. What, what 
should I do? Why would you say I should leave the house? First time in the morning. Seriously, you might think I'm flattering you, but the truth is that you are God's gift from heaven to me. Thank you. You're welcome. I like the way you talk. I love it. You do? Mm-hmm. You know, when I look into your face, I see hope. Yes. Because no woman has shown me the kind of love you've shown me. And I'll tell you this today. I will forever keep loving you, and as long as you live, Really? Of course, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me show you something. son of my parents. I just need you to explain things very well and vividly to me, please. Are you in any way saying I'm impotent? Well, I can't call that impotence, you know. Um, from the medical result available to me, it shows you have more dead cells in your fluid than the living ones. That was what the lab scientists said. I, I don't understand. You didn't seek medical attention early enough, you know. You allowed the infection to eat deep into your manhood. Well, you can still impregnate a woman, but it will amount to a miracle. Or better still, you can find an extreme fertile woman. You know, your sperm count is far below the minimal acceptable level. Uh, I doubt if you can impregnate not all women can get pregnant through it anyway. <laughs> Seriously now, are, are you sure I am actually responsible for your pregnancy? <laughs> yes! A yes as in yes? I have never known any other man but you. This is your child. <laughs> I think I should tell you why I have been dragging this issue of getting married. Mm-hmm. You should. You know, being the only child, also coupled with the fact that I've not had the proper wherewithal to get married, I was once scared by this Dr. Emmanuel who told me I was kind of impotent, you know? So. Honey, you giving me this is <laughs> it's surprising, really. Well, perhaps the doctor was lying. Or maybe we are experiencing a miracle. But this child right here, it is so yours. Because I am so pregnant for you. <laughs> <laughs> You've shown me that you are the woman of my heart. And I tell you this, I love you. And again, in three days, I will start the process of us getting married. No! Of course, yes. You're lying. I am lying. You will? Yeah? Of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you so much, so much, so much. Oh. I love you, I do. Yes, you will? Of course, I will. Ill child. What? It's too early. It's too early. <laughs> I love you, I love you baby. so much. <laughs> Oh, 
Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, are you looking for someone? Um, I'm sorry to bother you, sir. No, no, sir. Yes, uh, we're actually looking for a temple around here. Temple? Uh, what is the name of this temple? Temple of Drachmas. Temple of Drachmas. There is an evil temple that is giving men money in this land. They are calling for new members. Let us go and try our luck. Um, my friend, if you have finally secured an appointment with debt, you go and face it alone and don't involve me. I said, don't involve me. Oh, no, 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 good. I want you to understand this, the issues at stake. The world has evolved to the level where they don't care how you make your money. Ah. They worship whatever money that is being sampled. Let us go to this temple and beg for money. Now for listening to me very well. I don't dabble into what I don't know. I consider this call a precious waste of my time. I will not visit any strange temple. Money has been proved a stranger that will come when it must come. And it has come. If you don't have any other thing to say, Are you the only one looking for this temple of death? Or are you in partnership with your friends? Sorry, um, I don't understand what you mean by temple of death. <laughs> I want to believe that it is God that brought you to me. The reason is to guide you. Can you go please and call your friends? I think I want to talk to all of you. I'll never leave you. I owe you everything. I owe you a whole lot. I came into contact with your temple when I thought my life had come to an end. Today you have turned my finances around. And I can now with my head high be counted as a millionaire. I'm going to stay with you in your presence for days. I want you to saturate me with your power of making money like you've always done. You are not going to remain in his presence for days as you said. Because you are going to carry out an assignment for the Lord. I want you to go to the inner chambers, mix this oil of glitterity with a bucket of water and shower properly. Then you dress up again and come here and be ready to receive the message from the Lord. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their money, one thing I know for certainty is that wise men do not pursue their own debts. The temple you seek is not a wonderful place for you to be. I advise you as my friends not to spend your time and your energy seeking for that that will take away your peace. Oga, I want to ask you a question. This temple you are talking about, have you been there before? I haven't been there before, but I used to have a friend named Ofo. This man went to that temple, he made so much money, bought many cars, and was planning to buy a private jet. That was when he died under mysterious circumstances. This man was not given any time to enjoy his money. Uh, Oga, I want to ask you one question. Uh, how long did it take him after he went to the temple before he made money? 
in like one month, two weeks, same day. See, it didn't take long. Why? The oh. truth is that this Ooh. temple has the power to give money. But the truth is that those that got this money hardly live well to enjoy it. <laughs> Look, I don't know what else you guys want to hear. This man was sent by God to help us. Why are we not listening to him? There is another man called Chief Alajama. He is the owner of the castle. As soon as you descend to the hill, going to Lake Ketu, he is a member of that cult. You see, this man has money going by every definition of the world. He can buy anything money can buy, but he cannot remove his cap. If he removes his cap, people will see maggots practically eating his brain. Why didn't he go to the best hospital to treat himself? By a matter of cash. He cannot go to hospital to treat himself because he knows where the maggots are coming from. It's coming from the temple. And that is his price. A multi-millionaire that breathes maggots in his own brain and covering it with cap. With all his millions. With all his millions. What's she doing there? Sit down. In all the years I ministered as the priest in this temple, I never made a mistake. I invoked that lady to appear here so you can see her properly. So you don't make mistake yourself. Because mistake is tantamount to death. That lady you call the Neka, I want you to understand, is the chosen lamb that the Lord wants you to sacrifice. You're kidding, right? I am not kidding you. I am telling you the truth. You came this far because of the mad benevolence of the Lord himself. You have never invested anything. And the time has not come for you to invest something. And that lady is the person that you have to offer. Um, I want us to define offer here. You mean I should kill Neka or something? To offer simply means to terminate, to end, to turn off, to cause to expire. You shall have triple of whatever you have now. But you must kill that girl. You have to do it without delay. Because this is an express order from the Lord and there is no going back. High priest, there's something I have to tell you which you don't know about me, okay? Look, I'm the only child of my parents. My parents are late. Medical science has proven that it will be a miracle for me to have a child. Now, this lady you're telling me to kill, terminate, cause to expire is actually pregnant for me. So please, how do you expect me to do that? Tell me. <sighs> We always make it easy. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. This is the veil of death that I just lifted from the dry forest. Cover her face with this veil for five seconds and set this veil ablaze. Her soul shall be turned into this temple. The advantage of this is that you shall continue to work stronger and stronger and stronger. Remember, there is nothing that is sweeter than money. Cause this lady to aspire. You have money already. And you shall continue to have money. Thank you. You go give something if you want their power. You go drop something. You get something. You give Look. something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Look, I can do anything you want me to do. I can kill whoever you want me to do. But killing Neka, a lady who is pregnant for me with my child, is out of the question. Even if you kill one million persons, it will amount to unnecessary waste of blood. The lady you call the Neka is the chosen lamb that the Lords are waiting for. 
They want to feast on her blood. You must have to offer her soul. This is an order. And there is no going back. Look, look, I, I, I'm now going to be not careful as to how I answer you, okay? Look, this lady you want to kill is actually pregnant to me, all right? If I kill her, that will mean I'm cutting off my lineage, which is not going to happen. So I need you and Dracula's and device of something you do, but killing her is just out of the way. I'm out of it. I'm not doing it. Do you know something, guys? Onogolo is an obstacle sent to us to hinder us from our mission. We must be bold enough to discard all he said. I'm sorry, Duncan, but we cannot just discard him like that. A man was about to buy a private jet. He died. Can't you see the temple has a way of destroying people at their peak? Does it mean that you cannot think? That idiot died because of his inordinate dream to own a private jet? He was killed by his own greed. Now tell me, are you greedy? You, you, are, you are not answering the question. The thing here is, this thing has nothing to do with greed. No, Jones, it has. You see, when we make our money, we're not going to dream of a private jet. We should just go about our way and buy a very small car. I mean, he was just too greedy. And he went for a jet, so we're not going to ask for a jet. Look, Mr. Onungulu never mentioned greed. He never that's because he did not understand what actually happened i'd read every article from the temple of drachmas they hate greedy men they hate them so what would you say about the guy that is bleeding morgat is he greedy oh the more you talk the more you expose your ignorance you see that idiot that is bleeding maggots is equally greedy he made money from the temple and went to go and build a castle if we make money, we're not going to build a castle. We'll just go about and build a small house. At least now we know they don't like castle. So we're not going to build a castle. Any? Look, Frank, I'm not comfortable with the fact that you're not saying anything yet. Can't you tell him he's missing the point? Jones, I'm going to ask you one question. And I would like you to answer me that question religiously. Are you comfortable with this thing you're living as life? I'm, I'm better than some other people. That is not the answer to my question, fool. I said, are you comfortable with this, your present situation of feeding from hand to mouth? Are you guys telling me that's enough reason we should embark on the journey that we've been told is dangerous? No, I go so. Hey, I'm good, man. Hi. Now, Jones, listen. If you're not comfortable with this movement, please, stupidly get out of my car and go to your stupid home and remain there. We are embarking on a journey that is going to make us rich. And we wouldn't want any atom of distraction and discouragement from anybody. You get rich or die trying. And that's what we're going to do. Jones, are you coming with us or are you going back? If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Hey, you. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, baby. I'm fine. I'm good. You came back rather too early? Well, uh... Baby, uh, what? I, 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 I just... Oh! I just want to tell you I love you. <laughs> I will never ever leave you. Okay. Is that why you huh? your early money prayers, I mean? Uh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just like I said, I, I, I so love you. I love you too. <laughs> Come here. I can't believe that's why you came back. Yeah, yeah. Um, just want to reassure you. You said you're going to be gone for three days yeah. and then you come back in seven hours. Can you please tell me what happened? Yeah, you see, um, the church, uh, my church, uh, was going on the, some sort of reconstruction and, you know, 
the whole place was not organized. It wasn't a perfect place and conducive place for me to pray today. So I decided to come back home and do my prayers. Okay. Yeah. But you said that you're going to tell me everything I need to know about your church. So, can I hear it now? Darling, why don't we just, you know, leave this matter, all right? The most important thing right now is you're not only going to be the mother of my child, but the mother of my children. So, we should be happy and dwell on that. Now, that reminds me. What? My uncle is a big pastor. Okay. Now he's been inviting me over to his church, his office. I think this is the best time for us to go. <laughs> my love, I have lived with a particular pastor and I know the way pastors behave. Trust me, your uncle will not be happy seeing that you're pregnant for me already. You committed this atrocity? I trust me. Of course he'll be angry. But once I explain to him, he'll come down. He loves me so much. It's your crime. This is your crime. <laughs> This is awesome. All my years in this town, I never imagined a place like this existed. It's beautiful. I don't think nothing awesome about this place. All I see is death. All I see is death. That's all. I just believe that horror is locked in the corner. We kneel before you in humility. This is the very first time I'm seeing complete strangers coming to this temple and they're not even afraid. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm afraid, sir. Please, uh, <clears throat> I, was, I was brought here on the duress by my friends. Shut up, shut up. Please, permit me to leave and I promise not to mention this to anybody. I promise you, okay, please. Jones! Come back here. You, you know my name? The mere fact that you have knelt before the law means you have fulfilled the very first phase in the phases of literature. That first phase is nailed before the Lord. And because you have knelt before the Lord, you are going to have so much money. Now I want to ask you a thought-provoking question. Are you ready for the second phase? We are ready. Yes, yes, we are ready. We read a publication that God did not create money, and money doesn't belong to God. So people should not go about asking God for what he did not create. Yes. So, we know that the Lord Drachmas is very powerful. He's a powerful God. He, he's the creator of wealth. That is why we have come, so that he will make us rich. We want to be counted among the, 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 the affluent in the society, the wealthy. Yeah? So, so that is why... Ego, ego. Go see, go see pieces. <laughs> I need the money, sharp, sharp. Papa, what big name, man, sharp, sharp. You know, on that your topic that borders on creation, I want us to diversify. The Bible that you read says that God created Adam and Eve. Adam knew Eve, and she bought two sons called Cain and Abel. Then the Bible records that Cain and Abel, the sons of Adam, went and married the daughters of men. As you kneel before the Lord, Drachmas. I want to ask you these questions. I want you to ponder these questions. Who did they marry? Were there other people living in other parts of this earth before Adam and Eve and his two sons were thrown out from the Garden of Eden? Oh, he's right. He's right. Um, Holy Priest, we do not want to bother ourselves about what we don't know. We are here to make money. Money. And we are aware that we have to drink blood. We're ready to drink blood. Sharp, sharp. We just want to experience what you published in your article, the last article. Money. You are not going to drink any blood until you have in your hand the leaf of Osisimu, the leaf of strength. When you have it in your hand, then you can drink anything that we can give you in this temple. How, how can we get this? Uh, 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 leave of us single. We, we are very ready. We are ready. Trace a man called Ezigo. Ezigo was banished from Abotugo for telling the king of Abotugo that poverty shall continue in that land as long as he continues in the sin, evil of homosexuality. 
Ezugo lives alone beyond the forest of Akko. If you are able to trace Ezugo, he is my friend. If you trace Ezugo, he's going to give you this leaf of Fosisim. You come back here with that leaf in your hand and I'm going to give you what you are going to drink and you will have all the money you will ever, ever desire in your life. Go in peace. Come back here! <laughs> it is an abomination for men to appear before the Lord and live empty handed. This is the very first blessing. Hey, it's for you. This is for you. Thank you. Take your money. You go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Nothing goes for nothing. If it be your papa, if it be your mama, if it be your child. Hey! 100,000 naira! Oh boy, this is magical! Money! Oh boy, without much ado, I love this temple. I love this place, man! Oh! Why are you giving me your money? I'm out of this. Sensible people do not enter an open grave. This is an open grave. I'm not going to go any further with you guys. No, I rather come well. Let's try again. Well, uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? You don't even have money to transport. I have legs. I'm going to trek home. And it's better than, than me moving with men that are willing to whine and dine with Satan. Your legs are going to peel. They are going to peel. Let my legs peel. They will peel. Take your 100,000 naira and do what you want to do with it. Get out. You idiot. Waka. Your papa. What kind of rubbish is this? Ha ha. Idiot. Waka. Yeah, share the money. Share the money. Share, share the money. money. Share the money. Share the money. <laughs> see, I see your life. The guy gave me money. He didn't say share. Oh boy. Don't introduce greed into this business. Or me, you make me regret the day I introduced into this business. That share the money that, that's, now. That is your problem. Share the you money now. Find a way to bring the sentiments and everything you do. Why? Why? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Take. 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 I want you to tell me, in a very clear way, why you want me out of your house, out of your life, because I don't get it. The Bible gave one advice to those that want to unlock the blessings of God. Abstain from all appearances of evil. Look. I have taken my decision. I want to go back to God. Which means I have to abstain from all appearances of evil. James, I am trying so hard right now to get your point. The fact that we are living together as men and women, whereas we are not married, is an evil act. And I'm trying so hard to, to discontinue that act. What makes you think that getting rid of me will, will make you accomplish that faster? I'm not getting rid of you. I'm just sending you back to your place. It's better you go back to your place so I can be myself. I can be able to get myself back. I, I want to regain my lost confidence. Look, there is nothing as beautiful as going back to God with boldness. Like I said, Getting rid of me will not make that easy for you. I know that you don't have money. I just think that's the more reason why we should stick together. Pray together. Just love each other. How can we stay together and pray together when we are not married? Look, I'm trying hard to get over this whole thing and... No, please, please. I, I, I don't need distractions, okay? I have some money 
that I've been saving for some time now. I could give it to you to start business. Uh, but I could withdraw it tomorrow and use it to formalize our marriage. <laughs> Jones, I, I love you. I want to be with you. We could get married, have a life together, grow together, establish together, have kids together. You've been saving money for me? Me? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's actually about four hundred and seventy thousand naira. Four hundred and seventy thousand naira. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is for me, right? Mm -hmm. That is enough to conclude our wedding, and I'm, I'm even going to have enough to do my dream diesel business. Mm. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm so happy. Oh, mm. You're really happy. Mom, what are we talking about? <laughs> Something. If you want their power, you go drop something. You get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. You get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. If it be your papa, if it be your mama, if it be your child or your lover, anyhow it be, you go be come back, don't come. What? I don't understand something. That's something I don't, I, don't, I don't get clearly. How are we supposed to keep searching for a man that was banished from his town? Listen, everybody that rose to become a millionaire today has one thing on their mind. Money. You need to start thinking like a millionaire to become one. You don't get it. You don't get it. We are going deeper and deeper into the bush. And it's getting late. Can't you see? I'm not bothered. I'm not going back till I see Eze Ugo. Don't you understand? Are you mad? What do you mean you're, you're not bothered? You're not going back until you see Ezugo. What's that supposed to mean? What don't you understand about that? We're out on a success trip and I'm not going back till I hit the crest. You don't get it. See, do you know where I packed my taxi? Do you know where I packed it? Is it not possible that some stupid hoodlums could go there and vandalize my taxi? In, in, in case you don't get it, that taxi remains my only means of livelihood. Can you please evaluate how much this so-called taxes cost that insult i'll not take from you what kind of stupid question is that we're beginning to see money just the last little move we made we got three hundred thousand naira. look we have a whole bunch of billions waiting for us and you can buy all the taxes in the world you can become a big transporter and even own an airline come on let's go man stop being tricky no 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 you need to help yourself forgot to help you May we have the pleasure of you at least smiling at us. And how much would you pay me if I smile at you? <laughs> it's funny. Do you mean ladies from this part of the country get paid for an ordinary smile? I am not just a lady. Okay. I am the queen of Abatugo. The king had me at his beck and call and was still lost enough to me. Is there any reason why a man would have unhindered access to me and still lost after a fellow man? Huh? Uh, sorry, Your Majesty, the Queen of Abotugo. We are not from your kingdom. We've never been to that part of the world before. Yes. We're actually on a search of a man. And I'm sorry my friend rudely stopped you. So if you don't mind, uh, you might continue your journey while we continue. We can tell what you were told about the man you seek. And the reason why he was banished from Abotugo. The man was sick, was banished, from Abatugo because he condemned the evil your husband did. From your conclusion, it could be argued that he was my friend. Suffice it to say that he is still my friend. Hi! He said, I noticed it. I noticed you were something special. That was why I had to call you back. Now that we have met you, my beautiful queen, could you please lead us to this man we are seeking who happens to be your friend? You cannot see the man you seek without seeing me. You see? You see how foolish you are? We are seeing her. She's right here, right? I'm seeing you. So how much do you want us to see you? I am the queen of Abotugo. My name is 
Otibeze. I go to those I like. You must see the me that is in me before you set your eyes on the man that you seek. She likes you. <laughs> Thank you. When the sun has taken her leave from the skies and darkness begins to bless the trees, meet me under that tree and we shall learn phase one well before we come to have phase two. Oh. Do you realize what this woman wants us to do to her? She wants you to sleep with her, not us. Good. Good. Fine. Go and take a dive. Listen, your loss for women is what has kept us in this problem right now. Sometimes you embarrass me. Sometimes you talk like a small boy. How could you go this far into the forest and now we meet and access to our desire and you're just stopping it? Listen, see, do you know if waiting this woman's tire is going to give us access to what we want? Do you know? I take directives from just one man. The priest of Drachmas. And not from any woman and not for, or, or, or any ghost. You can go ahead and do what you want. I want for you, uh, not be just... Uh, you go ahead and just, just go and do it. It's okay, good. Do it. I'm gone. What, come back? What's, what's your problem? What's your problem? You, you can stay for once. Don't touch me. Let's go. Listen, tomorrow morning we'll go and meet my uncle. Yeah. He'd love to pray for us. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Um, I, we, we, we'll go and meet your, your uncle. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. Okay. I, I, I love you, baby. I love you too. to look for one man and his name is Ezogo and that man we must trace that a strange woman appeared to you and is offering herself to you on the platter of gold should not be considered this is business man you must be focused let's don't be distracted man no you are the person who is distracted because you lack focus see we have been wandering in this bush and Suddenly this woman appears, this beautiful woman appears to give us access to what we are looking for. And you're backing out. Now I know you don't love that woman. But as for me, the moment I saw the woman, I, I began to imagine how I'm going to hide. Only fools fall in love, man. Now tell me, apart from what she told you about herself, what else do you know about her? Does it matter? Wise man, does it matter? What matters is what she said. See, I'm this kind of person who takes everybody by the way. Okay. She knows the man we're looking for. That's what she said. And I take her by her word. Remember what she said about phase one and phase two? Which simply means that she even knows what the rest of that must told us. Oh, what is funny here? We're close to it. Why are you laughing? No, 
get close to it. Strength means I'm happy and you're happy. Is it right to always be falling from the sky? Oh, and I'm not, I'm not as strong as I used to be. Listen. 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 Are looking for are coming for strange sauce. You have to be focused. Listen, you have to forget that woman. Hey! That's it. You are mad, Mr. You are mad! Stop that! What do you want to do? Forget that woman! Forget that woman! Forget that woman! We must look so the man vanish. That's what we want. You are mad! You are mad! How can I afford? Oranges are falling. If you ignore no oranges, it's are you going to ignore yam? Do yam fall from heaven? Are you mad? Sorry, fool. These are the sources we are looking for. These are the things we need. And they are signs. Hey, come on, wake up, man. You know I love you. I love you so much. I am nothing without you. You mean the world to me. Are you really going to kill me? No. I can never do that. <sighs> Darling, I got into this cult when I was so desperate. I didn't even know it was a cult then. <sighs> now they're telling me to kill you, else they would turn me to zero. You're into cults? No, no, baby, 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 baby. Like I said, I never knew it was a cult. I never knew. But now my eyes are open. I can never do anything to hurt you, please. They are telling me you're the sacrificial lamb, you're the chosen lamb, but I'll never do anything to hurt you. So I need you to just make me this promise, please. Make me this promise that no matter what, you will stand by my side. Oh my we are children. fighting the common enemy, my love. Even if I make this promise, aren't you still going to kill me? No, no, I, I, can, I can never kill you, please. I can never do that. Look, I love you, darling. You're the love of my life. I cannot hurt you. Just, just, just make this promise, please. I can never, I can never hurt you, please. Can you please don't kill me? Please don't kill me. I love you so much. Baby, what's this? Stop this. Get a grip of yourself. What's this? Why would I want to kill you? You're a cult member. Neka! What is this? Where did this question come from? Some people are asking you to kill me, else they'll return you to zero. Are you going to kill me? Are you going to kill me? Oh, so you're not listening to people. You must tell me who told you this. Ah, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny, I have never kept anything away from you. I've never lied to you. I've never kept any information that you need away from you. What is going on? What is it? Tell me. What is this? Baby, what? What? What is this? Baby, listen. When I told you I love you, I still do love you. I believe you. I believe you 101%. But something is wrong. You have to tell me, can we can fight this together. Tell me, what is the problem? What is it? Kenny, something is eating deep into the foundation of our marriage and you know it. What is it? What is it? What is it? destroy what we have but I'm resisting it baby I am reiterating my commitment to it baby look I swear to you on my life you will be the mother of my kids who are the people that are asking
you should not stand and appreciate the beauty from afar. I oblige you, my buddy. Come closer and feel the beauty. My, my queen, you are the queen of your land. In the ancient dynasty where I come from, it is an abomination, I mean a taboo for normal men, as in men that are not castrated, to come close to the queen. Whatever that will become an abomination will only so become only when reported. We are under the protection of the virgin forest of Akulu. Virgin stone gossip, whatever we do here remains here and will not be an abomination if not reported. So come and experience what you never imagined you would ever come. Come on. something I don't understand. If sleeping with this woman will give us access to the money we are looking for, are you saying you are not going to do it? To be a man. If what you did to me is how you do it when you're not in the mood, then I'm looking up to when you will be in the mood. Are you saying that I satisfied you? Satisfied is not enough to qualify how I feel. You have proved to be a man, and I want you all to myself. Mm? Sorry, Your Majesty. I don't understand what you mean by you want me all to yourself. No woman will have you and desire another. I have had you, and now I want to have you for keeps. That wasn't the agreement. I mean, we agreed that I satisfy your lust. You take me to your friend who lives beyond the forest. Are you not happy that I found you worthy of my love? Even the priest of Drachmas, with all his tricks, has not succeeded in luring me into his bed. Wait. Are you saying that even the priest of Drachmas wants to sleep with you? Not only him, my love. All men that have valid manhoods want me on their beds. Count yourself lucky. I am old. That what mighty men desire, some have even wooed me for years and I refused, is yours upon first contact. Promise me you will be mine and I will give you what is mightier than the temple of Drachmas. I promise. You promise? I promise. Frank. What have you done? You're wetting the ties of a strange woman? This woman is not a strange woman. She has promised something higher than the priest of Drachmas. I can't believe you are compromising our mission because of a woman you only met today. A woman you've barely authenticated her claims. Are you a fool? Are you a fool? How many times will I tell you that I take people by their words? What is wrong? What, what, what is wrong with you? I, I slept with this woman and I got the highest satisfaction I've had in my life. That's not enough. She has promised to give something mightier than the temple. See, as you're seeing me, I have decided to follow her. Okay? 
If you don't want, you can go. And listen to me, my dear Duncan. You can still join the winning train. Okay? What? No! You said... You said you wanted me for keeps. Why are you getting another person now? Why, 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 why is this? No, 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 please. Just take me and me alone. Open your eyes, Frank. You'll see that you're heading for the very deep end. Now I know you are out to scatter my enjoyment and destroy my progress, my, my destiny. What is wrong with you? If you are not blind, you will see clearly that my eyes are wide open. I know what I'm doing. I like it deep and that's what I'm doing. I'm not complaining. Okay? Go! The money I'm going to offer you will make nonsense of whatever you might get from the Temple of Drachmas. I am mightier than the Temple of Drachmas. Just do what I want. Never. I came into this forest by the express instructions of the priests of Drachmas. And that's where I stand. And I will not be moved nor renege on it because of one strange offer from a strange woman. I'm not like him. Are you going to turn down what I'm offering you for what you may never see? I am mightier than the temple of Drachmas. Humble yourself before me and you shall experience unprecedented world. Hmm? Keep your offer to yourself. I'm not interested. I only believe in the temple of Drachmas and there's no going back. For you, I thought you were only poor. Now I know you're foolish. Thank you. Thank you, wise man. Solomon, go, go. I don't know, I don't know why you so much hate my, my progress. Why don't you just leave this place and leave me alone? Let me enjoy the woman that God in his infinite mercy sent to me. Leave me to enjoy myself. By the time I finish, you will see yourself. You come back to beg me, I know. Go, go, go. You are the fool yourself. I know what I'm doing. By the time I'm done, <laughs> you have yourself to blame. <laughs> Maybe do we go for a second round? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I understand. You've not gone, you're still there. Go on, I'll go with your big head. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, love. <laughs> Let's go for a second round, darling. <laughs> he does what he wants. This man is surely qualified to benefit from the Temple of Drachmas. Where is she? How did she disappear? Does it mean what happened was just a fling? Did she use and dump me? You're wetting the ties of a strange woman? I can't believe you are compromising our mission because of a woman you only met today. A woman you've barely authenticated her claims. She still remains the sweetest woman I've ever tested in my life. I don't want to lose her. Stone? Could this be the money? You're smiling. You used and dumped me and now you're smiling. I have gone to prepare a place for you. A place of peace and rest. I am mightier than the temple of Drachmas. You will not have any reason to regret what we shared last night. Odipesa, please where are you now? I, I want to be where you are. There is a picture of a house coming up. I want you to take a look at that picture and tell me if you like the house. Do you like 
like the house? Life is not on the statement. I love this house. <laughs> I will send you a card that will guide you to where you shall find me. You called me the sweetest woman on earth. And I tell you, you are the best. I said it. I said I love this woman. I love, I love, I love this woman. She has come to prepare a place for me. I love you the best. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I said it. I was ordered to come and meet you here. Are you the guard my wife said she was sending? You don't look like a guard, you look more like a chief. My name is Opio. I'm not just a guard. I'm the chief security officer of the mental physical region of the Isle of Brass. If truly she is your wife, then you can count yourself the luckiest man on earth. Where is she? I want to meet her. Where is she? The lonely queen of cupidity does not live in this forest. She was brought here by the breeze of love. With the ultimate reason was to come and meet you. She has gone back to the eyes of brass. Eyes of brass? But she told me she's the queen of Abotugo kingdom. Whatever she told you during the night has been overtaken by what she said during the day. I was directed to come and show you the house. Your house. That house is located in number seven, Ningozi Isiche Street of the Eyes of Brass. Find that house. And you can say that you have arrived. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, sorry, Chief. Chief, don't, don't mind me. You know, when you are expecting money like this, you, you tend to misbehave. <laughs> but I, I, I cannot boost. I mean, I cannot say I actually know what you mean by the Chief Security Officer of the Metaphysical Region of the Isle of the Brass. But to be honest with you, I know that position must be an enviable one. It must be, it must be a very gigantic position. <laughs> and I envy you seriously, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> what are you now? I said it. Chief Security, where are you now? How am I going to get there? You go give something If you want their power You go drop something To get something You go lose something Cause nothing goes for nothing If you want their money You go give something If you want their power You go drop something Good morning sir Good morning Do you need any help from the guard? I know you slept in this forest And I know what you are looking for. What I know you require the services of the guard. Uh, sorry to ask you, sir. Do you have any connection with the Queen of Abotugo or the Beze that lives in this forest? Why would you think I have any affiliation with the Queen you mentioned? So you're wearing a perfume that I perceived on her yesterday. And I have no reason to confide in a man that wears a feminine cologne. I love his charisma. I wish I could have him. After you and you need prayers. I agree with you that you need prayers. Prayers can do anything. Um, but if you listen to me, you need more than prayers. What you need is deliverance. Pastor, I have surrendered to you. I'm under your guide now. 
Just tell me what to do. I would like you to tell me about this man. Who are they? They are very powerful men. So powerful that they appear at different places at the same time. They are everywhere. All over the world. They give me everything I have today. But I'm presently in their bad books because they want to take away that thing that is most valuable to me. They want to kill your fiancé? Exactly. But I said no. They even gave me something to perform the dust that we had. I refused. So right now they are after me. They want to take my life as well. Did this cult originate here? And then spread to other parts, or is it one of these uh, important cults? We, the members, have never really cared about the origin of the cult. But we converge at a temple where the chief priest invokes large sums. different currencies. The members never really lack anything past them. What is the name of this cult? And uh, what is the name that your spokesperson always invoke before your meetings? that you're seeking refuge in the presence, in the secret place of the Most High. I'm not happy at all. But I'm not deterred. I'm not deterred. We are serving a living God. And He does not abandon those that put their trust in Him. You will not die. The woman you love will never be turned into the house of Lucifer. That's Whatever nonsensical music you created inside your very miserable house you are dancing to cannot be read by any of the music masters on earth. Or the Beze, I came here specifically to tell you one thing. Those that dance can never ever claim they know the music more than the creators of the music. If I should decide to face you in this very island, can you survive it? You are still suffering from the same old problem, you priest of Drachmas. You are suffering from the same old problem. You do not talk straight. What do you want? I am not going to talk straight because I'm not a straight man. You know, you can continue to get all the lousy men on earth. To continue to wet your very lousy ties with your lies. Your very loose ties with your lies. How is that your problem? I came here to warn you. Do not ever open your very lousy mouth anywhere 
to say that you are mightier than the temple of drachmas. You came here to insult me? How dare you call me a loose woman, priest of drachmas? How dare you? I am calling you a loose woman because that is exactly what you are. Every single man who ever wanted to have you actually had you. There are men for years that you have been desiring to have that you never succeeded in having. Oribeza, I want to look into your face to tell you that you are a disgrace, a fundamental disgrace in your cult. And I'm going to warn you specifically. Oh my goodness. If you ever open your mouth anywhere to tell anybody that you are mightier than the Temple of Drachmas, I am going to seal up your vulva. That is the only way to curtail the continued exhibition and the extension of your libido extravaganza. Please wait. Would you do what you just said? Can you afford to seal up my vulva? I can't remember for how long. You have been begging me to have you. And I said no. Because I am not comfortable with the way you have been carrying yourself in the occult world. Even the most basic of the masters in the occult. They have all had you. I said no because I know my rank. I don't want to have the food every idiot has eaten. Suddenly you went to them and you were telling them that I am the one that is begging you to have you and you are the one saying no. I don't want to go into that, but I want to warn you, Odebeze. Look into my face, that you wretched Odebeze. Look into my face! Open this, your very lousy mouth, anywhere again, and you tell anybody that you are mightier than the Temple of Drachmas. I am going to seal up your vulva. Brass. I am going to be ruthless. I am going to be heartless. I am going to be merciless. Because I'm not going to leave even a single hole for anybody to enjoy. I am going to lock up every miserable lousy hole in between your very miserable legs. Idiot. Why does he want to temper with my powerhouse? Eh? He has refused to have me. And now he wants to render me useless. What is wrong with this man? The reason I like that girl uh, It's uh, because she possesses all the attributes of a good woman And from an elderly perspective She's going to be like a good mother to you Thank you so much Uncle, I don't know what to say Now that I have your consent to proceed with the marriage I'm so happy Yes, you will no doubt marry her I've given my consent, but not with her money Uncle. I don't understand. How am I going to marry her? I don't have money on my own. Let that not bother you. I am going to sponsor the, the marriage from the beginning to the end. And also bankroll your business. All you need to do is to be prayerful and have faith in God. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Good. Okay, my dear. Um, John, perhaps what you, you may not have realized is that father was a great man. He was a philanthropist. He was everybody's idol. And um, how will I be alive and see a woman sponsor you in business when I know I can more than competently do that? Otherwise, why am I uncle? Thank you so much. Thank That's you. okay. Thank it's okay. God bless you. It's okay, my dear. So much. It's okay, my dear. You know, you're proving to me that you truly love me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> That's something I would never forget. Here's your money. 
Fake it. My money? Yeah. Your uncle didn't approve of our marriage. On the contrary, he told me that you are the best woman in my life. And you are going to be like a mother to me. He said that. <laughs> and I listened to him very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know, but you're still gonna need this to formalize the arrangement. Uncle Oyenka, give me two million naira check. No. I'm telling you. He no. said that I should use it to marry the woman that I love and to start my dream diesel business. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you getting two million dollars? Two million dollars, baby! <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even know you had such an uncle! Really? But I do have. Oh, get in here! <laughs> Oh, oh I'm so happy. God has been good, you know. Amen. Yes, he's been our strength. Oh, God, when are you catching this? First thing tomorrow morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say. Ah! I've been in this ministry for a long time. And I know when war is general. That young man in there is not only general, but his love for you is very strong. I never in doubt. As your uncle, I have nothing against you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Can we now go back to the office? There's something I want to tell you. Okay, go ahead and tell me. What is it? Hmm? Tell me now. Trust me, I'm the person you should trust. Confide in me that I will understand when you tell me. What is it? If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something. Are you so involved in courtism? Tell me and denounce them and deliverance will come immediately. Uncle, I am not involved in court activities. Then what's the problem? I'm pregnant. You are what? Uncle, he is the only child of his parents. Doctors have certified him important. This is the first time ever he'll get a woman pregnant and he sees it as a miracle. That is why he wants me to leave. Are you ready to do it? <laughs> or do you want me to do it? Number 7, Nengozi Isiche Street of the Isle of the Brass. Huh? We were asked to trace a man of Abotogo. He was banished for saying that poverty will continue in the land as long as the king continued in homosexuality. His name is Ezogo. Are you the man, sir? Why are you looking for Izugo? There's a basin of blood right now before the statue of Lord Drachmas. The priest of Drachmas said we must have a particular leaf in our hand before we can drink from the basin. <sighs> We're searching for Izugo because he's the only man that can give us the leaf. <laughs> Three men. 
appeared before Lord Drachmas. Three men were sent on this mission. And only one man finally stands before me. You sound like a part of the process. Are you a Zugo, sir? The child that directed you specifically pointed at this house and told you Ezugo lives there. You ought to know that I am here that you seek. Where are your colleagues as you speak now? One didn't follow me. He declined the moment we left the temple. The other followed me. I compromised last night with Odibeze, a lady that claimed to be the queen of Abotugo. She also alleged to be your friend. My friend wetted her tie, and she promised to give him something mightier than the temple. You had the opportunity of taking advantage of her porosity. Why did you decline? I saw her as a deceiver. She has the resemblance of a shortcut to riches. I don't do shortcuts. Sit down. Thank you. If you want their money, you go get something. If you want their power, you drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. Once you enter, you don't enter. Oh, come out, my guy. Now we holla. Oh, what is sicky? You very sick, yo. My guy, you know nothing goes for nothing. People we enter just to make money. For them to spend them, they got to drop something. For them to spend them, something must go. Cause nothing. That house is located. In number seven, Ningozi Isiche Street of the Eyes of Brass. Find that house, and you can say that you have arrived. I can now confirm I have arrived. you when you confronted the scarlet woman the self-acclaimed queen of cupidity when she told you she was mightier and more powerful than the temple of drachmas you said something very significant very remarkable you said she could keep whatever she has to offer And to her face, you told her you would believe so much in the temple of Drachmas. You don't know the meaning of what you said until you meet with the priest of Drachmas. Thank you very much, Ezugo. The priest asked you to come here so that I could test you. I'm happy to inform you that Pass the test. <laughs> I'm not going to test you anymore. <laughs> um, um, are you going to give me the leave now? Mm. I must admit that I enjoy every bit of your company. Every bit of it. You came here for the leave, and you surely will not leave without the leave. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am committed to this mission. Very committed. You have the potential for greatness. Yes. I want to celebrate you first. Before all that. Thank you, Zulu. Mother once appeared to me in my dream, saying I should denounce the cult, but I didn't heed to her warning. 
And when she told me to denounce the cult, I should have because I could then. But I was so blindfolded by my quest for materialism. Now I have money. But I can't sleep. Kenny, we all make mistakes. Now that was a mistake on your part. But you can't continue to blame yourself forever. No. The court gave me money. So much money. Right now I have businesses that give me serious returns. As we speak, I have money lying in my house. In different denominations, different currencies. Kenny, where do they get all this money from? I mean, how do they get all the money? I know all the money comes from Satan. It comes from the devil. Drachmas, they say we worship. I'm so sure that's the devil. For how long do you think you can stay hang on? Let's there's nobody here. Don't tell him the priest. The priest wants to come. Let's go. Can he? Can he? Can we go? Can, can he? you just listen to me? Yes. I said, let's go. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Anyone who saw you wandering in the forest of Akulu will never know that you are this romantic. You are forcing me to remember a lot of things and I'm excited. me do things I never imagined I would ever do. Like licking a woman's leg. Are you sure after all this money is going to come out? Many people have tried to define cupidity to mean a lot of things. Do you know the meaning of the word? No. I'm only a taxi driver. I feed from hand to mouth. If I knew the meaning of such big word, then I wouldn't be on the street driving taxi. I should be in one big office. You are so funny, my love. I want you to forget whatever you were told and believe what I am going to tell you now. Cupidity simply means a great desire for money and material possessions. What? <laughs> Hi! You just summarized my whole life with one word. My name is a great desire for money and material possession. Then thank your stars for meeting me. I am the lonely queen of cupidity. As long as you agree to be mine, every desire of your heart shall be met. I knew it. Ha! I knew it. Even when my friend was being stupid, I mean when he was talking stupidly, I was looking greatly beyond. And you know what I was seeing? What? I was seeing greatness. I knew it. And that's why I followed you. Imprisoned in every fat man is a thin one 
wildly signaling to be let out. I am going to force the thin one in you to come out. This is an experience I can't wait to have. You told me that you wouldn't share me with another. Hello? I was very serious when I said it. And if you want me, I will still repeat it here again. I don't want to share you with anybody. Thanks, my love. And you also told the forest guard that I was your wife. I want you to expand Don't you want to be my wife? I want to marry you, my love. Good. But you have to promise me that you won't share me with another. Am I stupid? Am I mad? Tell me, which man? Who is that same man that will have... Oh. Oh. Beautiful queen like you. And will go outside to look for another person. That person is simply stupid. And I am not stupid. Just wait for me for a minute. Hmm? I'll be back. Okay. Hmm? Can you do this? Oh. Thank you. Take my love. Drink the remaining, and I'll be sure that we have a covenant. Take. Drink my love. What is this? Some people will ask you to drink blood because they like shedding blood. I shed no blood, and that was why I settled for a Jewish covenant. Drink my love then our marriage will flourish like a tree planted by the rivers of water that will bear fruit in all seasons. Drink, my love. Yeah. Drink. It's bitter. Drink. Drink. Hey. Finish it. Money, money. That's good, my girl. Come on. I'm sorry, brother, but I don't think I've seen you before. I'm sorry if I should know you, but the truth is that I don't. Pastor Pascal, I know you very well. You know, I go around the churches paying my tithes to pastors that are dedicated to their duties. Pastors like you. You know, I have this belief that paying of tithes should not be something that must go to a particular church because someone is attending that church. Paying of tithes should go around. So I come specifically to give you this, Pastor Pascal. Three million naira is my tithe to your church. Wow, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. We actually had a revelation that God is going to visit us. He is faithful to his promise. God is faithful to his promise. I like that. And on that note of saying that God is faithful to his promise, I beg to take my leave now, Pastor Pascal. Oh, sir. 
Let's just have a word of prayer before you leave. Sincerely, I am actually running behind time. You know, all of us are part of this, this Pentecostal family. We know the kind of prayer we pray. When we go into that prayer, it may not end in time. And I'm actually running behind time. So I, you can go ahead and pray. But I give you one assurance. This Sunday, I am going to be in your church to be part of your fellowship. But as of now, I don't have the full time. But I must have to give you this assurance that I am very, very impressed with the quality of work and the good name of the church. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May God bless you, sir. gave me the leave you demanded can you please hold it in your left hand please oh sorry right before you I have lifted this cup from the holy altar of Lord Dracmas this is the cup that is going to take you to unprecedented worlds <laughs> desires to make money. Am I close to it? You have already endeared yourself to the Lord of the Temple of Drachmas by the bravery you showed beyond the forest of Akuru. I tell you one thing, that which you seek shall be yours. Is there any particular business you want to counsel me to go into? Any man that is going to be exposed to the kind of money we are planning to expose you to should do just one honorable thing and that is to sit down and enjoy. But if for any reason you want to go into business, then I will advise you to do just one thing. Begin to dig from the earth. You may dig gold. You may dig diamond. You may dig crude oil. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Thank you, my Lord Dragmas. You may go in peace. Can I have the leave now? <laughs> and I give you just two days. Only two days. And too many things will begin to happen around you. Go in peace. Darling. Look. You just have to forgive me, but there's this thing that has been lingering in my head and in my heart that I just have to let out. You see your uncle, Pastor Pascal, I don't think himself and his prayers are that powerful, you know? Kenny, how can you say a thing like that? My uncle has been pastoring for 20 years. He is popular. See, that's the point. Being powerful doesn't have anything to do with you being a pastor for, for or even a million years, okay? Listen, the priest of Drachmas appeared in your uncle's church. Now, if your uncle were to be that powerful, he wouldn't dare appear there. Let me tell you the truth. The problem is not with my uncle. The problem is with us. In fact, you. What's this? Are you blaming me now? Of course I know I am the problem. I told you my problem and you took my problem to your uncle's church. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I think you haven't done what we're supposed to do. Something like what now? Give unto Caesar what is Caesar. 
I'm unto God. What is God? Look, I know that Bible phrase you just lifted right now. So please, can you just marry it? Tell me what it has to do with me, please. If the prayer of any pastor should work for us, you have to do it with every single thing you got from the occult. You see, that's the point. If I return everything like you've told me right now to them, we'll be left with nothing. Nothing. Okay? We wouldn't even have the roof over our heads and we wouldn't be able to eat. What am I complaining? My love, it is better for us to start from the scratch than to continue to live in constant fear. Baby, that is going to be tough. Look at this house. We are not supposed to be here. It is theirs. And being here makes us vulnerable. Darling, don't you get it? If I return everything in the fashion you're asking me to, we'll be left with nothing. Darling, we will go naked. You see my wardrobe? In your wardrobe? Everything was bought with their money. Don't you understand it? My love, it is never too late for one to correct a mistake. We can start all over. Oh, my love, we can go back to my parents' house. It's still intact. Start afresh. Please. You must surely be an idiot. Very serious idiot. To think you are not going to die. We shall see. I am aware that you finally configured a husband for yourself. Hmm. What are you doing here? Your friend came to my house to threaten me. Ezugo, I am not comfortable with that threat. That's why I'm here. It is not a threat. He made a statement of fact. He is going to seal up your vulva. And I'm going to cut off your nipples. What is wrong with both of you? Huh? Why are you planning to destroy my sensitive areas? Why? Because that is the only way to keep you in check. You told them that you were my friend. Now let me ask you. Who was that king that married you at Abotugo? You were Zuko. You. Or... Do you want to tell me you did not enjoy the quality time you spent in my company? Hmm? I have lost count of the number of men you've deceived. I am not one of them. I am not one of them. Now you go home. Go back to your house. And please, do realize that we are watching you every step of the way. Ezugo, <laughs> Ezugo, how many times did I call you? If you go on telling people all you know about me, I'll be forced to tell them what I know about the Temple of Dark Maso. And you guys will not like the result. I am watching you, Ezugo. I am watching you. Come back here. How dare you? We at the Temple of Drachmas have nothing to hide. And that is why we put up articles and circulate to people. We put up adverts in the newspapers inviting people. So you see, we have nothing, absolutely nothing to hide. But he is going to seal up your vulva. And I'm going to, I mean it, when I said I'm going to cut off your nipples. The only way to avoid this is you have to be very, very, very careful.
They just are nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And your wife's uh, wedding gown is also delightful. Oh, ah, that's the lady herself. This must be her happiest moment. Hey, here you are pointing toward the future. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Beautiful pictures. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you very much. I, I actually brought them for you to see them. I owed, I owed it to you, everything to you. Well, uh, Jones, you are now a man, full-fledged man, and I'm glad. I'm glad about it, and I'm also sure your father, wherever he is today, must be very happy. It's you, Uncle. Everything I do, it's just you. I'm so happy that you came into my life. I'm so happy. It's all right, my dear. You see, I had to do what I did because I had no choice. More so, if I remember what your father did for me and um, my, my other uh, relations, uh, who am I not to reciprocate? Uh, so the onus is now on you to continue from where we stopped. The thing is, not many uncles will do what you did. Look at me. I'm a happily married man. I have a flourishing business. I owe everything to you, uncle. Everything. That means the business is really booming. Of course, business is flourishing. I'm glad to hear that. Now I've actually diversified, so I'm, it's not only the, the the diesel business; it's also the engine oil and kerosene. And they have lubricants. Yes, exactly. Mm. <laughs> and who knows? Before, before you, one could say Jack Robinson, you might set up a filling station. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> That's beautiful. So I really, I'm, I'm beginning to feel like an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I had so much trust in you. That was I, I had to invest in you. Also, oh, and I'm you happy so you're not disappointing me. Thank you so much. Yeah? Thank you. Thank Let's you. keep it up, my dear. Thank you, I don't want you to see it as if I'm flattering you. I like the way you drive. Thank you. But don't forget in a haste that I am a taxi driver. You see, we'll make it a point of duty to drive to satisfy your passenger. You have to make your client have this sense of safety. Can you tell me why you decided to visit the Temple of Junkers? Well, the motive is simple. What? To make money, become a man of means. I don't think you expect me to explain in black and white. And now that you have found yourself in wealth, are you still thinking about the Temple of Dracos? Why don't we save this discussion till we are packing somewhere? I mean, we are relaxing somewhere. There is something you are not telling me, my love. Okay. I will tell you everything in details when we pack, okay? I love you, baby. I love you, darling. We came here to relax, to chill out, okay? So please, let's just drink up. Drink up, guys. I am new in the Isle of Brass. I know. And that's why I call you, baby. You know? This is the very first time I'm seeing a very beautiful lady like you. <laughs> and naturally, I have to call you to familiarize myself with you. You know, so may I have the singular pleasure of knowing your name, baby? My name is Odibese. Odibese. That sounds like something that could be found in a palace. <laughs> is that your name or are you? Just my name. Your name? Yes. All right. Well, um, I am Dr. Emmanuel, a neuro consultant, you know? That guy I saw with you there. Is he a gigolo or you are a bad man, you know? Oh, come off it, doctor. You said you're a medical doctor. Of course I am. But you're surely not talking like one. How could you be so uncharitable with words? I'm sorry. You know, well, from the look of things, he appears like you are the one taking care of him. Because both of you are not in the same category at all, you know? It was nice talking to you, doctor. I have to leave now. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on a moment. I am in suit four, you know. 
I'm always alone. Anytime you feel like you hop in, you know, just come in and have a peep. I'm always there. I'll spoil you, baby. I'm not promising anything. But I sincerely do like the expression that you employ. Oh. Oh. Always alone. Yes, I'm always alone. You're not going to be alone, are you? Oh, really? Oh, come on. Hi, darling. How are you? I am not comfortable with that meeting you had with that man. You know we are in a covenant. Come on, Frank. You don't have to reason that way. He's an old friend, and I was only being nice to an old friend. If we continue to give that kind of attention to old friends, we will have a big problem living our covenant. I don't need to remind you that old friends have this way. They stick to the heart. Do you still remember what I told you, Frank? You said you are Odibeze, the queen of Abatugo Kingdom. And now that we're finally married and living together, what did you find out? I found out, just like you said too, that you're the lonely queen of cupidity. And to be honest with you, I have tried seriously to figure out what it means. Yet I don't know. Really? Oh yes! You made a hell of promises that you've not fulfilled. You said that all the desires of my heart shall be met. You equally said that you're going to force the thin man inside me out. All these things are mere academic promises which you have not tried to translate into, into reality. Are you telling me that you are not happy with all the riches you enjoy? It is not the desire of my heart to enjoy riches. I want to own riches. Okay? I can't possibly lay claim on anything and say it's mine. All this arrangement is beginning to bore and piss me off. I followed you here because you promised you were going to speak. Are you going to speak eventually? <sighs> yes. Hmm? I promise. I'm going to speak. Mm. Is it promise? Hmm? <sighs> let's uh, take this and let's share. Okay, love. Let's not quarrel over that. Now tell me how much you want, and I'll arrange it for you tomorrow. I promise. I can't possibly tell you I want this amount. All I want is a stream of wealth. I want money. I want riches. In fact, open an ocean of wealth for me, like this pool. Open a pool of wealth so I can be swimming inside it, and be swimming in and out. You know, swimming and out. That's what I want. I'm disappointed to note that you still don't know me, Frank. Then prove yourself to me. Prove yourself to me, my dear. From the first day I saw you, I said there is something unique about this woman. I have done virtually everything you've asked me to do, including licking your legs and other places. You said you are mightier than the Temple of Drachmas. Prove it! Prove it by giving me money, riches. That is what I want. Ego, money. No, come here just to lick legs and other places. I need money. How long are we going to stay here? It's getting late and I think we should go home and rest. I am the lonely queen of cupidity. I love where things are happening. And so many things are happening around us. You don't expect me to leave suddenly. I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing anything. Even the pool is getting dull. The swimmers that were giving us some excitement are no more. I wonder why you want us to be the last people to live here. You know why I love you, Frank. Mm -hmm. You are still like a baby. Relatively reserved, just like a virgin. And you have potentials. Admire the level of knowledge you possess. Hmm? Are you not sounding strange? Drink up, my love. We will soon leave here. You are not a gentleman. A lady came into your room for the very first time and you seduced her into a horse sex. <sighs> That's not civilized. I'm not impressed with you. You are the one that started it. In fact, you seduced me. 
that you like it, you enjoyed it, didn't you? <laughs> Enjoy is an understatement. In fact, I never had it so good. <laughs> In all my years as a medical doctor, I haven't seen a woman that had that kind of energy. You are flattering me. You will still go home and sleep with your wife. Huh? My wife? Yes. If you like, show me you always be there for me. If I get home now, I will initiate diverse proceedings against my wife. I like that. Yes, I'll send that back in. I like that. Yes. But we will meet very soon to talk about that, okay? Okay. Meanwhile, I want you to close your eyes. I want to go into the toilet. How would I close my eyes when I've seen everything? You're wrong, my love. What you saw was just a glimmer of the beauty. You have not seen the beauty proper. So I want you to close your eyes. Uh, I don't understand what you mean by beauty proper. In fact, I can't wait to see it. That's nice. So behave like a gentleman for once. Uh, and close your eyes. You want me to close my eyes? Yes, my love. Uh, my eyes, eh? Yes, my love. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The fool is beginning to sleep, and it's high time we left. Excuse me. My love. You think I didn't hear you? You are calling me a fool because I closed my eyes? How can I call you a fool? I was talking of something else. Someone else. Shall we? for what you enjoyed. You are going to pay with your blood. What's the meaning of this? Ah. 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 Your best life will never see you. said you shouldn't have allowed him to go without praying with him you should have allowed him to go with the money the minute he refused to pray with you yes we need this money but not from a man that cannot pray with us mistake is mine i accept but remember i did not even spend one kobo out of the entire money it vanished where i get it on my table you know what i think I think our church is under attack. And we need the prayer warriors to pray with us. Somebody that his church is on fire needs the prayer warriors to pray with. Okay? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine. That lady you call the Neka. I want you to understand is the choosing lamb that the Lord wants you to sacrifice. You came this far because of the med benevolence of the Lord Himself. Yes. 
You have never invested anything, and the time has not come for you to invest something. And that lady is the person that you have to cost. People will enter just to make money for them to spend them. They got to drop something for them to spend them. Something must go cost. Nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their You can't continue like this. This is a bad moment in our history. But we need faith to overcome. What I just can't understand is why the tides would just turn suddenly. My love, the Bible says looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. For he is the beginning and the end. He knoweth it all. You have to take it easy. There's nothing there, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny. There's nothing there, there's nothing. I hope you're not afraid. How can I be? You gave me your word. You said you won't harm me. Have you changed your mind? morning star the one I love the one I cherish the one I can never survive without I will never betray you never I love you I love you too You surrendered your material acquisitions because you want to continue to fool around with your lady that the Lord has demanded for her soul. You must give me the soul of that lady or you offer your own soul. Kenny. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. If it be your papa, if it be your mama, if it be your child or your lover, anyhow it be, you go be something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. People will enter just to make money. For them to spend them, they got to drop something. For them to I remain obedient to the forces of the Lord. Nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. You must offer that girl. That is the only way. And there is no going back. Drop something to get something, you go lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. Once you enter, you don't enter. Oh, to come out, my guy. Now, wahala. Oh, what is sick? You were sick. Yo, my guy. Nothing goes for nothing. People will enter just to make money. For them to spend them, they got to drop something. For them to spend them, something must go. Cause nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. The mere fact that you have knelt before the law means you have fulfilled the very first phase in the phases of literati. That first phase is nailed before the Lord. And because you have knelt before the Lord, you are going to have so much money. The priest told us that we had already passed phase one. She appeared and said that we should learn phase one before we climb up for phase two. Why is she not coming up with money?
What is this? Money for you, darling. 20 million naira. Eh? Please, darling. Stop complaining. Whatever you want. Just do me a favor and tell me. And you know how to do whatever you want. Okay? Wait a minute. Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Take it easy. It's okay. All for you, my love. All this for me? Yes, dear. You know I will do anything for you. Oh. You know that. Now, now I have confirmed. I mean, now I've come to realization that you are bigger. I mean, much bigger than drag mass or whatever. Please don't call that name. One of them wants this. And the other wants that. Let's just talk about us. Okay? Let's talk about us. I'm so happy to have you. Sir, this is the picture of the man we directed from our security database. Sir, is it the man you are looking for? I'm impressed with how you have managed to maintain your security database. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'm leaving, sir. Tell me his name came here yesterday and paid me three million naira. He called it his tight. And uh, I tried to share prayers with him. He refused, saying he's going to join us in service this Sunday. Then yesterday night, I saw the same man in an evil dream trying to suffocate me with a veil, a black veil. You're not serious, are you? I'm very serious. I called you here to show you this. You know this man? What's he looking for here? What did he come to do? This is the priest, the priest of Drachmas, the spiritual head of the court, the man who asked me to kill my wife. This is him. That man is dying God. Do you still have the money this man gave you as tithe? I went to pray for the choir yesterday after their practice. I kept the money right here. I came back and the money vanished. That man is daring God. And his fingers are going to burn out. Hello, hey, baby. Come, baby, don't you think we should get a gate now? I mean, my beautiful queen should not be opening the gates for me. It doesn't look romantic, you know. I am the lonely queen of cupidity. I like being alone. I don't need any gate now. We don't even need housekeepers. Just the two of us. Can I? Ask if this is my queen. <laughs> Whatever. Nothing for you. 
Okay, then. So, yeah. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Brother, my life is at stake. I just need your help. I need your help now. If you look there, now I'm not sure you go see. Me, an ordinary mortuary attendant, I'd be so. I don't know the kind of help you need from me. I know, I know. Like I said, I need your help. My life is at stake. I, I, I. Well, I'm a member of a secret court. Eh? <laughs> Bros, I know, I know you now. I know your kind. I know they do that kind of dirty business here. Go ask them. I know they do that. Can you just relax and listen to me and stop shouting, please? All right? Look, like I said, I, you know, I'm a member of a secret cult, okay? Now, they want me to, to kill my wife. And I can't kill my wife. I, I can't do such a thing. So, you know, go feel kill your wife. Now, me, you won't come kill. You know, go feel do them now. You know, fit. Go ask them this body, they don't cut them. Cook am I dead? I pass you and your court. Can you just relax? Look, I'm, I'm not a killer. I've never killed before and it's not now I'll start. All right? I just need the body of, of uh, another woman to replace my wife. That's all. Bros, <clears throat> make I tell you. What you want make I do? He had. My friend, a colleague here, shaved woman's pubic hair, sold it for 50,000 naira. Today, the guy is in jail. Even God self no go fi help him. He go die there. So, how you go now feel if I can't carry a whole dead body give you? What can I go can't tell the people where get and when they come? Look, I don't want the, any cops, all right? All I just want to do is use this. Eh, no use and no touch me with that. What's the meaning of that? Why are you to protect myself and I know what be that one. Look, I just want to use this veil and cover her face. Just for five seconds, that's all. <clears throat> five thousand nine. What? One second, one thousand. One second, one thousand. Five seconds, five thousand naira. My brother, I can't give you that kind of money. I don't have that kind of money to give you. I forget and I know business with that. Oh, all right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you five thousand naira. Oh, yeah. Where? Go and make sure the body is there now. The body, they there. He get one fine girl with the, with the way they just bring me. They there. I don't know why fine girls, they die. When ugly girls fool everywhere, even native doctors say they see them kill. Now fine girls, they die. Bring them. Just go and make sure you have the body. Before you enter this place, they did knock. No come. If you follow me, enter here. Anything will do. Now you start it. And now back, they use enter. No be front. I come. Uh, begin, go. Turn your back now. Enter. <clears throat> See ya. They just bring and come. So, the money. Wait now. Uh, you bring the money first now. Here? Yeah. Yeah, you go give me the money before. Now, here now. Maybe can they give me? Make I count them. You don't complete. Cover and well. Cover and well. I go to count them for you. I go to count them for you. One, two, three, four, five. You don't complete. Take them, take them, take them, take them, take them. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine now. That one is busy. Yes, and thank you. Huh? As they go like this, if you see me, no wave. If I wave you, no, I you don't know me, I don't know you. If you see me, carry face like this. So thank you very much. Uh, carry face if you see me.
in the temple. will come and those that shout now will not be able to shout and what the hell do you mean by that let me have my soul that you took the kingdom of god will violently rise against this baseless kingdom if you fail to do what i asked you to do you stand before me and you are telling me that i took your soul away your very lousy soul how dare you come into this temple where we feast on daily basis on the blood of the simple and you are threatening me Destruction. Who the hell are you, that you wretch, evil woman? They covered my face for five seconds. Five seconds represents five times. Do not allow you to get to the fifth time. For purposes of argument, I want to ask you very simple questions because you have not managed to introduce yourself to me. Answer these questions, that you evil woman. Who are you? And who are these people that took your soul or covered your soul or covered your face for five seconds or whatever? What has that got to do with me? What has that got to do with my temple? My name is Mary. Mary? My burial is fixed for next month. And I shall be buried by sanctified Christians. If you do not give me back my soul, there may never be any corpse to be buried. <laughs> Mary? Who is Mary? What does she want? Already dead? In the temple of Dragmas? I have to know what is going on. Madam. Good day, young man. Yes. Are you the owner of this mini oil and diesel outlet? By the grace of God, madam, I am. Okay, can I have your price list for the supply of diesel? Oh, madam, I would love that you come to my office so we can sit and be able to discuss properly. So I, I can be able to know your area and I can be able to um, know the exact quantity to offer you or to supply you. 
are you inviting me to your room? Well, madam, if you don't mind, you know you are my client and I have to treat you with all the respect. <laughs> I love the way you talk. Thank you so much, mother. So if you don't mind, please, can we go now? Don't be the girl, be the girl when I do wait for make nepa bring light, make I come and bam you. You know you didn't get respect for a man where the peace. Eh? Even if your whole body they vibrate, wait now, make I finish now. You will soon start to urinate his blood. But my prayer is, it should never get to that. I agree, blame you. I blame you. Like say nepa they work. I say this is less nepa people. They work. I for don't pour chemical poo for your body. No, you can't they tell me nonsense. Osaze, I heard it from your mouth. Saka sold cubic hair for 50,000 naira and is now wasting away in jail. You sold my soul for 5,000 naira. Now tell me, what is the difference between you and Saka? You get low, don't be your fault. Now useless never. If we don't get switch now, 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 now switch you again. Return the field to gain before you will start to vomit what you never ate. Chai, what is this now? I will soon start to vomit what I never ate. Jesus Christ. Just because of 5,000 Naira. I am up against the spirit. See the money where the man give me. See him, my 5,000 naira complete. I never come out anything there at all. But the problem now can be say, the man who can't give me an address, I don't ask I will take, see him return this money. What I will do be say, I will just hide them. Somewhere we be say, when they won't come carry, you know, I go see him. Now the only way when I go fit him to him. So I don't know whether I make a begin hide them now. Go see him, but when I want arrange you, when I want package you, made them carry you go. I go hide them. I go hide them. I'm going to take them. Shy. You are welcome to my private guest house. Thank you so much, madam. So, what can I offer? Oh, madam, you don't have to bother yourself. At least I've seen the location. What I need now is to see the generator. Oh, come off it. Let's not talk about the generator for now. You remember what I told you in your office? I love the way you talk. What can I offer you? I just want us to relax and have some fun. Stop playing hard to get. Do you know why I like you? Oh, tell me. Frank. This you? Uh, Jonas, what's up? You two know each other. Jesus Christ, I can't believe what I'm saying. Frank, what, what happened to you? Well, if you're so blind that you can't see, money 
is happening to me. Well, I don't know what you came here to do and how you got into this place. But if you must know, this pretty damsel standing beside me, this beauty queen, this embodiment of beauty, this pyramid of beauty is my wife. <clears throat> well, madam, I'm, I'm sorry I have to disappoint you. You're going to be the first customer I have to disappoint. But I don't want a contract anymore. Thank you. Why? Frank, what is going on here? I should be asking you. First of all, you appeared into this place unannounced. What is happening? I should be asking you that question. What are you doing with the Jones? What are you insinuating? Huh? Excuse me. Don't you give me that pretense like you don't know what I'm saying. What the hell are you doing with this guy in my private guest house at this ungodly time of the day? Don't get yourself worked up, Frank. He only came to see our generator. I went to his office for the supply of diesel and he insisted on seeing our generator. Is there anything wrong in that? Did you say office? Yes. He has an office down Pencil Avenue somewhere. That new lifer. That garbage has an office? Do you have a problem with that? I don't get clearly. Frank, there is something going on here. There is something you are not telling me. What is it? What is it? I want you to understand what the Bible says. A man that is being delivered must believe in himself that this thing works. Yes, okay? Yes. And in Bible, the Bible tells us in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, that if we believe in our heart, all things shall be possible to us. Yes. Now, follow your knees. Let's pray. You will be free. I call down your power because it is written in your word that we shall be creating and it shall be established unto us Amen. we shall bind a force and it's bound in heaven therefore in the name of jesus i bind you forces of darkness i bind you in the name of jesus and i cast you out of this life i said get out of this life wherever you operate whether you're operating the high heavens whether you're operating in the mid air you're operating upon the desert or you're operating in the seas i bind your forces and i cast you out I said, get out in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you are free. Hey, that you pastor, I curse you with all the powers from hell. You shall continue to pray until you have nothing to pray over. He belongs to this temple. And you're wasting your time praying for him. Because he can never ever be free. He can never be free. You are wrong to ever think you can wage war against a man. Who has gone back to the path of honor? I am the path of honor. I put it to you. I am the path of honor. This man you are defending came to this temple and we gave him word. Go to his village and verify that he is the richest of all his rich men. We gave him money. Every money came from this temple. And there is no way. He surrendered all that he gave. And you cannot continue to hunt him. I think the time has come for me to ask you some very fundamental questions. Mary. That's your name, Mary. You are Mary. That's, that's your name. Who are you? His advocate and solicitor? Or are you just his bedfellow? Have you been walking his ties? He was only by chance. And the mere fact he was courageous enough to surrender all that he gave. I have taken over the case. He surrendered my soul to gain his. And he is free. Give me back my soul. God! Boom! We operate one way down. We can never ever vomit what we have swallowed. And you are very lousy to ever think we shall ever vomit whatever we have swallowed in this temple. I curse you with all the powers of hell. You are smiling. Ah, move you! We can never ever vomit what we have swallowed. We can vomit what we have swallowed in this temple. He is a long spring. We have swallowed every single soul. Every soul that enters here has been swallowed. We have never ever committed that we have swallowed this stuff. One way traffic. One way traffic. I don't understand that look. 
You don't understand my look. And who was that lady you were carrying in the car? Huh? Are you making me understand you have a problem with my carrying people in my own car? I do not have any problem with you carrying anybody in the cars. You were taking her to a hotel. And I want to ask what you had in mind. I offered to take her to a hotel to treat her to some expensive champagne. That lady is my old friend. She is married. And for your information, she's pregnant. Now tell me, what on earth could make you imagine that I could possibly lost after a pregnant woman? If you decide to misbehave, if you decide to fool around on this island, I want you to remember one thing. I am watching you. I am watching you. Adibazan, I want to understand something clearly. Are you by any means trying to make me understand that I have mortgaged my freedom on the altar of this, this, this romance? You call this a mere romance? Is that what you call it? We are married and you belong to me completely. Get that into your mind. Why are you always mentioning marriage? Why? Can there be a marriage without the third party? Tell me, you can throw me into this stupid, baseless marriage without witnesses. Now tell me, what on earth? I mean, what on earth? Why are you always making reference to it? Why? You don't have an answer to my question or something? I don't ever want to repeat myself on this. You have no right to hang out with any woman. You belong to me. You belong to me completely. anywhere and say you know exactly how I got into this car. Good morning, sir. Is it because you're licking her legs and other miserable parts of her body that gave you the fulfillment to call us fools at the Temple of Drachmas? Hmm. Sir, I'm very sorry. You see, I regretted that statement immediately I made it. But it was too late for me to retrace my steps. That's exactly what you must do. You must retrace your steps. Because the very first time I set my eyes on you, you showed me zeal. You promised me you were going to come back. You never did. Instead, you went ahead and fell in love with the beach. The public toilet of all the occult masters. Did you say she's a public toilet? You shut up and you listen to me. Sorry. Get me her blood in a decanter. That is your punishment for opening your very lousy mouth to call us fools in the Temple of Drachmas. Sir, are you saying I should kill her? That's exactly what you must do. You must kill her or your own end is come. The only thing she can do is to continue to give you money to enjoy. In the Temple of Drachmas, we don't just give you money. We expose you to avenues of making money and we ensure you remain in money. Now talk to me, Frank. Which one is your choice? Drachmas is my choice. I have always preferred Drachmas. But you see, it. there is nothing like Beth, Frank. You have to figure out how you are going to give me the blood of that bitch in the decanter. That is your punishment for 
for opening your very lousy mouth to make reference to us as fools in the almighty temple of Dragmas. I am sorry, I am sorry. Hey God, God, what am I going to do? This whole thing is getting complicated. Hi. Hi. Baby, you will not believe this. Look, right from the first minute I saw that lady, something told me that she was not just a woman. Apart from the strong perfume she wore that took over the air, there was a strong feeling that made me to believe she's, she's evil. Okay. I took her to my office to show her the price list. Immediately she got there, she just she started accepting everything I was saying. Whatever I said, she, she just accepted it. Why? Because she couldn't look at the crucifix that Uncle Oyenka gave me. Did you two go in her car? I didn't go with her. I drove right behind her, okay? I actually went there to see her house and see the generator to know how many liters I'm going to supply her, okay? While we were negotiating, guess what? What? Frank came stepping in. Frank? The Frank we know? Of course! Oh! And what happened? She was surprised. She didn't know that Frank and myself knew each other. Mm. So finally, Frank introduced me to her as his wife. And the house that she brought me to was the private guest house. Immediately, I drew on myself immediately. I knew that that evil thought and feeling I had for that woman was genuine. I left! I take off! <laughs> His wife? No way! I'm sure Frank was pulling your legs and you took him seriously. Because there is no way Frank would get married and we won't be aware of it. How is that possible? Look, sweetheart. Anything is possible on the Isle of Browse. We are not living on the island. Those people could get married and we would not know. Moreover, she didn't complain when Frank introduced her to me as his wife. If she wasn't his wife, she would have complained. But she didn't complain. Look, let me tell you, eh? I'm so happy that I didn't take that contract. Of all the contracts, I'm so happy. I was actually thinking, wow, how? Because this, how, I could just sense this evil, this evil something. To, but you know what, child of God, I bear the mark of Christ on me. Yes, there was no body. You again, Mary. What are you doing back in this temple? You. my soul that was deposited here. Give it back to me in peace and I will leave you alone. Does it mean that you are deaf or something? Yes, it is possible you died as a deaf woman. But now that you are a spirit, can't you just get it? This temple is called the Temple of Drachmas. Here in this temple, we only do one thing. We swallow. We don't vomit. Can't you just get this thing and stop coming to this Change is the only thing that is permanent. And I look into your very evil eyes and I'm asking you to explain what you mean by change is the only thing that is permanent. You explain it. You do not vomit what you have swallowed. But in my case, that will change. Give me back my soul or you will face me. Nay. Nay. I should face you. Because you are who? If I should face you, Mary, can you hide? Can you handle it? Where are you going to get the stamina? Is it because of this your tiny waist? If I should descend on you, Mary, how are you going to survive? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay now. <laughs> I told you, they covered my face for five seconds. Five seconds represents five times. Do not allow me. We have gone beyond halfway line. Don't allow it to be to it. This woman is testing my patience. She has no right whatsoever. 
to put off the lights, the candle of Lord Drachmas. Why is she testing my patience? Why is this woman forcing me to personally handle her second death? There is nothing like birth. Figure out how you are going to end that bitch. Get me her blood in the counter. And that is your punishment for opening your very lousy cursed mouth to call us fools at the Temple of God. My God, this is a very difficult task for me. How can I kill this woman? How? To kill her is very simple. You will first of all kill yourself. It's only right for you to help me. Please. Where you are going is nearer than where you are coming from. Any seed that hopes to germinate must first die. But I'm not to die now. These people promised to give me money and ensure that I remain in money. Are you telling me you can afford to kill the woman that has given herself free to you? If you are sincere to yourself, you will know that sex means nothing to a man that has no money. She gave me herself, yes. But what I need is money. Money, that's what I need. Look into my face and tell me she has not given you money. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me money, but I prefer drachmas. These people will not only give me money. They will equally expose me to avenues of making money and ensure that I remain in money. Hey, please help me now. Help me kill this woman. I know you can do it. You are the chief security officer of the metaphysical side of the Isle of the Brass. You can do this. Please, let us go into a contract. Help me kill her. You are going to inherit 10% of all the money I am going to make from the temple. Please, now help I never knew you were such a great. How could you, Frank? Sorry. Sorry. You recognize me? Um, I don't want us to argue. The woman resurrected and collected the money from me. That means I did not make any kobo from the business at all. Look, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean, what woman resurrected? Why they talk like this now? This is Mary now. The woman you used in place of your wife now. Hey, 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 put yourself together. What's wrong with you? Give me now. What I am saying is that I need money. You have to pay me again because you don't collect that one. She don't collect her. What's this now? What's this? This is all I have. Wait, what's wrong with you? This is Bring all, them down. This is all I have. 3,500 naira. Eh? Two what? That's okay, I'm not going to pay them. They're not telling you that fine box I be. Put yourself together. What is this? Give me now. Give me the thing. Give me. Give me. Bring them.
bros, this thing is slim money now. The money too slim, I beg. Make, just add, add something now. The money too slim now. I, I, I... Beg, Adam. They're supposed to tell you, say, now, fine boxer. Fine box on IIB. Fine boxer. because he did what he had to do. Why did you they go after that same man? They don't bury you now, eh? Go and rest now. Even when he pleaded he had no money, you still went ahead and took the little he had. Why are you this wicked, Osaze? That the way they can't carry you here. I see moto, big motos. I passed us way through here, they're plenty. I they see them for TV. I they see them for newspaper, I they read them. For the radio, not there. Now their church, you won't talk. Big business. See the whole big dead body like this. I do all the big, big business when I do. The day where they bury you, they show them for TV now. Everybody watch them. Big business like this. Look at them now. And after all this business, I made nothing. That's what you are. Nothing. Even when I thought you had learned your lessons, I didn't realize you were as greedy as the rest of them. Now, you will get what you seek. By what I have here and Pepper, I think we are convinced you can do the job. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I lay much emphasis on uh, certificates, but somebody who has been in the university environment obviously has an advantage. And uh, but I can see from your paper that you've not had much experience. Uh, yes, sir. I had earlier veered into business, but I have suddenly realized that I should make proper use of my certificates. Reason why I did applied for the job immediately I saw your company's advert. So how would you combine your business and this work? Sir, if you look into my application, you'd see that I had already said that I am no longer in business. I want to work in a manufacturing company, not just any manufacturing company, sir, but a cosmetic manufacturing company such as yours. I have proper knowledge in chemicals and it's only right for me to work in a company that deals with chemicals. Well, in that case, Congratulations, you have a job. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate the confidence you've put in me. Thank you, and I will not fail you, sir. You are in the middle of the forest of death. There is no escape. <laughs> Get ready to vomit what you ate, or we shall force you to vomit the blood. Sorry now. Sorry, I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Sorry. 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 Sorry, please don't look me. Oh. Help me. Tell them not to kill me, please. Please. Please.
Frank. Jones. What? What happened to you? Why are you looking like this? My brother, I was coming to your office and I don't know what happened. I passed out. My office? To do what? Look, if it is uh, the supplying of diesel, look, I don't have interest in that, okay? I just don't have interest in it anymore. Hey, no, 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 no. Not the, not the diesel. I want you to direct me to the temple. I don't know what happened to me. I don't seem to remember anything any longer. Listen to me. Jesus Christ is the name used on every lips. Try and get used to that name and stop digging your grave in some occulted temple. Jones, different individuals have different problems. See, all I need is to get to the temple. I am facing a big problem with my wife. And I need to get to the temple as fast as possible. Please direct me, please. You, you took me unawares, my lord. I, I never knew you were going to visit me at home. Your two eyes and your two testicles. I want you to tell me the set you value the most. I, I don't understand your question, my lord. Of course I value the both sets equally. But if you are required to sacrifice one set for another set, May I know the set you will readily surrender for the other one? I cannot surrender my eyes because that will amount to total blindness. That's not good. Well, I, I can't surrender my testicle because what is a man without a testicle? You are beginning to talk like a fool. And I want to warn you, I don't discuss with fools. I don't mingle with fools. I don't have any business with fools. My lord, th this is Duncan. The very Duncan that denied the blessings of the lady that threw herself on us at the forest of Akolo and proclaimed my faith in the Lord of Drachmas. I have faith in you, my Lord. I'm not a fool. Then I want you to open your mouth and tell me exactly what you want. My Lord, I want money. I have told you, I want money. Money. That's all I want. Money. That's it. Money. Money. And I have told you, as I sit here in your house, this afternoon, I can tell you, you are going to have the kind of money that will marvel the world. But between now and the end of this month, I want you to find out how you are going to do it. I want you two eyes in the Temple of Dragons. Oh, oh, wait, wait, my lord, wait. I, I cannot give you my eyes. What is the gain in having all the money and no eyes to see? I mean, that's blindness. That's, you can't see the wealth. Beautiful. That automatically means you value your sight more than your testicles. I don't have any problem with that. Now you listen to me, Duncan. Between now and the end of this month, figure out how you are going to bring me your two testicles in the Temple of Drachmas. That is the sacrifice and there is no going back. Our plan was to make money and have peace. Nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. What is a man without his testicles? Testicles, what have I put myself into? What is my testicles? What? I don't want to give them. I don't want money. I don't want money. I still remember what that man said to us. He said the temple has the power to give money, but those that make money do not enjoy the money. My brother, a lot of things happened that afternoon after you left. We continued to equal in search of Ezugo. It was on my way that I met the woman I married, so I discontinued from the search. I heard Jones has made a lot of money. Have you seen him lately? Wait a minute. Are you telling me that 
you you didn't drink the blood eventually? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I did not. You know, we resolved to get married. We wedded ourselves secretly, and since then everything has been rosy. So what is the problem you have with your wife that is making you to go and see the temple? My brother, a lot of things are happening. I ignited the rot of the, te uh, the temple with my utterance and, and they asked me to kill my wife. I beg your pardon. Jesus Christ. What I'm telling you is exactly what I'm facing now. Look. But the problem now is that this woman has proven to be the, 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 the definition of, of a strange woman. I realized I couldn't kill her. So all I need to do now is to run to the temple and surrender myself under the protection. Listen to me, you don't need to surrender yourself to anybody. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abow under the shadow of the Almighty. You don't need to go to any prince. What you need is to surrender your life to Christ. So what is wrong with you, Jones? What is wrong with you? So you brought me this far to tell me this rubbish, to but, me down? No, I brought you here to talk to you. You need to turn your face to Christ. That's the only way you can be safe. Listen, listen, listen to me, Frank. Thanks, but I don't need your Frank. Frank, Frank, don't you need it. this, Frank. Frank, Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end. He will help you. Thank you very much for your advice, but I don't need it. Do you get me? Frank, get Frank. your stupid car out of my face. You like a brother to me. Come back. Let's go. Let's walk in the hands of Christ. Frank, Frank, Frank. Get me. You don't like me. You don't want my progress. You drop something. You get something. You gonna lose something. Cause nothing goes for nothing. Show yourself. Why are you hiding? Manifest yourself and show me what you want. Tell me. They are notorious for making extreme demands for their subjects. We can make it easier for you. Just accept us. I cannot accept what I've not seen. You need to show yourself so I can know what I'm seeing and I can accept what I want to accept. We are not going to ask you to bring your testicles because we need the testicles to satisfy our body. We are not going to ask you to sacrifice your sight because we know your eyes are very romantic. We live for romance. We demand just one thing. Accept us. Love us. And you shall experience what you ought to be experiencing. What do you want me to experience? What? Look at the television. Oh my God. Oh my God. When we make money, we're going to buy a cruise ship and sail over the oceans, man, with the most beautiful women around. <laughs> you know, there are beaches beyond the Pacific which men from this part of the world have not experienced. Do you know that? <laughs> we are going to explore the beaches. We're going to explore them. You can imagine where most beautiful women are dancing with sharp bikinis on the virgin sign of those beaches. <laughs> and, and, and you have the most 
spoiled ladies, cat walking, I mean cat walking, naked before you. <laughs> and you'll be enjoying yourself. I mean, you'll be enjoying yourself with the best wine produced in France and the best vodka produced in Russia. <laughs> your life will have so much meaning. So much meaning, you fling your head by this lady comes to kiss you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me, what is more enjoyable? What is more peaceful than this? This is the life I want to live! <laughs> and you are the one that will actually experience it. Just say yes to us, and it shall be yours. I am not in a hurry to accept what I haven't seen. Show yourself! Then we can negotiate! By the way, I can't run away from my house. Because no man can run away from his house. And in fact, why will I run away? Because you know everything about me. So, I hear your voice. You sound like a man. If you really like it, if really you are a man, show yourself, let's talk like a man. If really you are a man, show yourself, let's talk like a man. Huh. Are you not the same guy that wore a feminine cologne? <laughs> you still wear the same disgusting cologne. When will you ever learn your lesson? Let me hear what you can teach that you think I cannot learn. And let me hear what you can give that you think I can't get from somewhere else. I knew it was you. So, why are you trailing me? You are the man. I am the woman. You can still grab me and take thorough advantage of me. And together, I will not double into the issues of love with you because it's glaring you know nothing about love. Now, who do you call the common enemy? The same person that has asked you to sacrifice your testicles. Because he has no regards for the beauty of a woman. Say yes to me. And you shall live to experience what Frank said. You see, when Frank said that, Jones qualified him as dreaming the vanity. I have every reason to believe that Jones is right. You are vanity. Look into my face and tell me that you do not have the urge to take me. Come on, make a move. I'm not going to resist you. Take me. You're dating Frank. So why would I date you while you're dating my friend? I am not dating Frank. He's been the one fronting himself. It is you I love. The evil priest of Drachmas will ruin you if you continue to listen to him. I am the only one that could save you. Do you know that? Kissing the Lord to kiss the floor. Who? Who is doing this? Who the holy effigy of Drachmas? You see, 
There are certain things I want to understand about you. Like what and what? See, the truth thrown into a marble is forever sacrosanct. And that truth is that you're not a normal human being. The first bit of characters that have shown me that you're not normal, you're terrestrial. Now you want to marry me. Let me ask you one question. What? Who are you? The way you coined your question is absolutely poetic. And poems, my love, are naturally romantic. I like you. As you are know, my name is Otipese. I am the lonely queen of cupidity. They discouraged you from thinking about me. But believe me when I say, I remain the only ladder you need to climb to success. Ezugo told me you are not the queen of Abutugo, which simply means you lied to me at our first meeting. Forget about Ezugo. That man that lives beyond the forest of Akulu. My love, you're so refined to be listening to that bush animal. Ezugo is too old, old fashioned to even detect for you, my Prince Charmer. So, what were you doing in the forest that day? The truth is, I am privileged to have what I may call the best instincts in the world. And my instinct told me that if I go to the forest that day, I will meet my Prince Charming. I will meet the man of my dreams. For that singular reason, I went into the forest that fateful day. Who are you referring to as the man of your dream? You, my love. You are the man of my dreams. I was surprised that your body didn't call you that day and you left your friend to be the one who ultimately called me. So sad, my love. Yes, I'm the man of your dream, but you slept with my friend. Is that what he told you? How can I sleep with him? I didn't sleep with your so-called friend and that can never happen between me and your so-called friend. Please, let's not talk about him. Hey, hey, hey. Have you forgotten I caught the both of you lying on the same mat, half naked the same day? Nothing happened between the both of us. He was begging me all through the night. And how can I even sleep with him when we were all together in the same forest? My love, please do me this favor. Don't ever listen to Ezuko anymore. Okay? Or don't you believe me? And please, do not listen to whatever is who tells you. Okay? Lord Drachmas, I kneel before your temple. I have sinned against you. That is why I have come to ask for your forgiveness. I am surprised that your effigy has fallen, but I'm not bothered. I still believe that you are strong and powerful. Please, I ask to be renewed. I am not in without you. Please, I need you to renew me so I can face the challenges that are coming my way. What have you done? How dare you? How dare you use these same miserable hands of yours? that you have been using to romance that bitch called the best to touch the holy effigy of your drachmas. How dare you? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't touch it. I came in to meet it like this. I, I, I decided to ignore it and continue with my prayers because I believe that the Lord drachmas is still very powerful. I, 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 I didn't touch it.
it after he died. I see no reason why I should go get another when I have such a huge mansion. Suffice it to say you're the first lady that will ever step here. You know, I, I, I used to be a hotel person. Is that not the reason why I said I am ready to lay down my life? You are amazingly human. I say same of you too. You're the sweetest woman I've ever had. You know, it took me some time to get you where I have you. And now that I've had you, you are going to be mine forever. You will be mine. And I will be yours forever. How did you know that the priest of Drachmas asked for my testicles? There is nothing that happens in the Temple of Drachmas without my knowledge. I know everything that goes on there. Don't be surprised. Was it the priest that told you himself? Oh my love. Let's forget about the Temple of Drachmas and talk about our relationship. We have so much to talk about. Hmm? Okay. Every time I remember that I have less than a month to donate my testicles I, I become very weak you don't have to be by the end of the month one man will be sacrificed to the temple of drachmas and that man is the priest of drachmas himself nothing will ever happen to you hmm? Please promise me. Promise me you help me out of this confusion. I'll help you. Promise you help me. As long as you are showing me that you will be mine forever. I promise nothing is ever going to happen to you. Okay? You got me. shows that we are having two bonds. They are very okay and they're developing properly. Two boys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what else could I ask for? <laughs> two boys. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> anyway. That reminds me. Yes. I met some lady today mm -hmm. uh, she said that you offended her but that she has forgiven you and she said her name is sister mary sister mary uh-huh where, where, where did you see her <laughs> along the road well she scared me when she first called my name though did she touch you <laughs> no no she she said that um, she was used in place of me and when I asked her what she meant, she she said I should ask you. What is it about? Why, why, why would she appear to you? Why? You're scaring me with the word appear. I mean, isn't she human? She's a ghost. I beg your pardon? My, 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 my God, I mean my goodness. I, I was talking to a ghost? Yes, baby. A ghost. So I need you now to tell me what she told you. What did she tell you? 
real ghost? A real ghost, baby. You need to communicate with me now. Please, just tell me. What did she tell you? She, she, she said you must love me like Christ loved the church to have died for her. She said you have held on to Christ now and you mustn't let him go and you mustn't saw your hands with cultism. Ah, darling, all that is resolved. You know that. I'm no more in the cult. I am for the Lord and the Lord alone. You know that. Yes, yes. And, and, and she also said that the man who took you to her has met with the zenith of his greed. And that um, as long as you love me and me only, and we trust in the Lord, you shall succeed beyond your imagination. But you should tell me what happened. When I married you, when I made those vows, I wasn't just repeating what the pastor said I should repeat or say. I was saying everything from my heart. I truly love you. And only you I desire. My problem now is, why would she be appearing to you? Why? She, she said you, you have to tell me everything. She said, you must tell me everything. My love, when are you going to tell me everything? I mean, I don't know her, but while listening to her, she struck me like someone who was a noble Christian woman. In good time, I'll tell you everything. But just know that you're married to a man who loves you. I lifted the effigy of Lord Drachmas from this very portion last night and I placed it here and I left you here to sleep in this temple. Where is that effigy? Frank. <laughs> A fool should not make baseless inquiries from another fool. You again. Mary! This is the idiot that is called Mary. Her name is Mary. She's a dead woman as you're looking at her. Why are you desecrating this temple? Why? I'm asking you. Where is the holy effigy of Drachmas that you stole from this temple? Where is it? Someone in dying need of deliverance used my soul in place of his wife. I trust you to ask for my soul back. But you said you do not vomit what you have swallowed. You have stretched my patience far, far too long that I am now tempted to begin the process of your second death. Why are you forcing me to start the process of your second death? I'm asking you, why? You derive your powers from the effigy of Jackmas. About effigy. Super effigy. Now tell me. You dull, wretched piece of drachmas. What makes you think you can do anything to the woman that destroyed the effigy of drachmas? You are telling me you destroyed the effigy? The cursed ashes of the cursed effigy is in that calabash. <laughs> Go ahead and lick your wound. You refuse to release my soul. But now, I have taken it by force. Sorry, sir. 
I slept off under the protection of Drachmas. I never knew the effigy disappeared. Please. There is only one bullet in that gun. Only one bullet. Don't make a mistake. Then you know I shoot. I don't know whether you came in peace. Whether you came in peace. This is the time for you to leave this time. It's difficult for me. Who, which of the women do I kill now? Is it the one that proved to be stronger than Drachmas? Or the one who is claiming to be stronger? Hi. I just pray. He's the one that is claiming to be stronger. This one that proved to be stronger. <laughs> this man here is Songo. I believe him. So, what do you want? Well, uh, I want to see Osaze. Osaze? Yes, Osaze. You mean Osaze the footballer? Look, I'm here to see Osaze the mortician. The only Osaze I know is my good friend that's a footballer. I want to see Osaze that works here. Okay, Osaze. The one that works here before. He said, Kaikai man, I don't die since. What? You mean the lanky Kaikai man? What are you talking about? Osaze dead? Jeffrey, are you here? Huh? You there here? No, 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 no. No, we want to confirm. Come and confirm the guy. You see yourself. You there here? No, no, leave me alone. What? No, no, come now. No. Come. No. No, 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 come and confirm. Excuse come, me, please. I saw something on there. You there here? I said it. Why are you knocking there now? You see here now? I go knock before you come now. Come, don't throw me. Come, come, come and see us. Ah, where did they go? I'm not gonna drink what I don't know. Imprisoned in every fat man is a thin one widely signaling to be let out. So come on, take. So I'm not a fat man, so I don't know what you're saying. Others will ask you to drink blood because they like shedding blood. I shed no blood, and that's why I settled for a juice covenant. Drink the juice of life, my love, and our marriage will flourish like a tree planted by the riverside that is forever green. Drink. Come and take. Drink. If you're sure this juice is for convenience, you drink first, then I can drink after you. You know the saying? Ladies first. As it pleases your lordship. Because you can't stand this girl. Please stop him. 
to me. Are you to kill me? Frank. I'm your wife. Please. Frank, Frank, Please. drop the weapon. Please. Drop it. See, she, she's my wife. Okay, we just had a covenant. Shut up, Duncan. Are you out of your senses? Yes, I was in that covenant before she betrayed me. I didn't betray you. I didn't betray you. You abandoned me. You collected right to kill me. You even see, even attempted to kill me. Please don't allow me. Now you wait, wait, wait. You had a covenant with my friend. You did. Please don't ask her. Don't. I am your friend. I cannot lie to you. This one is a witch. She is evil. She has come to destroy us. I've not come to destroy you. I've not come to destroy you. I'm married to the both of you and we have a future. What are you doing? Shoot, shoot, Anna. Shoot. Kill her. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good for her. She was a witch. She was all your good dog, Anna. She's not listening to Jones. What, what, do you, what do you mean was my fault? You wanted money, I wanted money too. How dare you murder the mother of peace when you think you both can ever have peace? You, you don't know him? He's for the desert! He's the same man you killed! He's still alive! Shut up, both of you! Both of you should bend down and lick the blood of the woman you killed. Lick it! No, no! Let us, let us, let us go and struggle him with our fist. Fools! I said, bend down and lick the blood of the innocent woman you killed. He's spiritual! Shoot him with the same gun! Shoot him now! I can't! Shoot. I can't wait! Why? I have only one bullet! The priest of Dragmas gave me only one bullet! <gasps> oh, we are finished! We are dead! No, 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 no! We are dead! Let's go, please! We can do it! Rush him! We can do it! Rush him! Let's rush him! Let's rush him! Let's go! 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 What are you doing here? You have no right whatsoever to appear in this temple. And I'm asking you, what are you doing here? You gave them that evil girl to kill me. Because you deserve death. Now they have killed me. Do you think you will leave? I am not just going to leave. The temple of Drachmas is the most powerful temple on earth. You lied when you told them that you are mightier than the temple of Drachmas. Today you are suffering the consequences of that very unguided statement of yours. Or the best I banish you to the abyss where you belong. Go to abyss and begin to wallow in the pains you inflicted on yourself. Don't provoke me. Before I handle your second date with urgency.
Let us toast to love and wise decision. Mm -hmm. Promise to give me everything. Mm -hmm. I said no. I decided to wait on God's time. And today, I'm a happily married man. That's right. I have a flourishing business. And I'm expecting to be a father. Oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I love you so much. I love you too, baby. And you know, God has been faithful to us. Yeah. Yeah, we owe him a lot. Yeah, I should. <laughs> okay, give me a rest of it. Rest of it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So nice, right? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs>